I have known uh, Senator Kamala Harris in the last few years, as in my, as myself being an elected board member for the California Democratic uh, Party and for the delegates for the CD17, that's called the District 17. And we as Indian Americans are really proud that she was nominated for the vice president post, especially because she being nominated has literally broken the glass ceiling and our children, especially for our children, they feel much more safer now. And not only safer, they feel more integrated with the U.S. fabric. And now the sky is the limit. Earlier, we Indian Americans were only known for being very successful in our software industry or in a technical line or in medicine, doctors, but never in politics. This will open the door for a lot of our Indian American kids. And by also being nominated as a vice president, Indian Americans across the globe now will be in the well known for who this Indian, who we Indian Americans are, how we work hard, how we stand for democracy. This all really helps. So I'm really proud of that. And the second part is she getting nominated as a vice president has really changed the U.S. elections now. Earlier, people were thinking Trump was definitely going to win, but with Kamala Harris coming in, she has literally split, split the Indian American vote, as we say. So this is going to be an interesting election, and a lot of Indian Americans, African, African Americans, everybody is lining up to support Kamala Harris. So please, uh, if you are in the U.S. and you are a citizen, please vote for her, and uh, see you soon. Thank you.